factor x squared plus 2x minus 8. The method I'm going to show you works for trinomials when you have a coefficient of 1 and also when the coefficient is not 1. Uh, this is a trinomial because there are three terms. And if we were to classify by degree, it is quadratic. First thing we have to do is write down all the coefficients. So the first coefficient is 1, the second coefficient is 2, and our last coefficient is negative 8. Your second step is to then multiply a times c. In this case it's 1 times negative 8, which gives you negative 8. And once you have that number, you want to find the factors of negative 8. Here are the factors of negative 8. And recall that our b term, our b coefficient, was 2. We want to find a pair of numbers that will add up to 2. In this case, it's negative 2 and 4 because negative 2 plus 4 equal that positive 2. We will call those two numbers our magic numbers. And from those magic numbers, we're going to make two fractions with the a term as the coefficient. So our a was 1. And the magic numbers, negative 2 and 4, are going to be written in the denominator. These two fractions tell us everything we need to know and we are ready to write our final answer. The number in the numerator is the coefficient of the x. So we have 1 for both of them, and the negative 2 and the positive 4 tell us the constants. So our final answer is x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 4. We should check our answer by distributing. So we take the answer, we distribute the x, then we also distribute the negative 2, combine the middle terms, and we end up getting x squared plus 2x minus 8, which is actually what we started out with. So that tells us that this answer is correct. Solve x squared minus 10x plus 21 equals 0. The standard form of a quadratic equation is written right here. And lucky, luckily for us, everything is already on one side. So the first step of solving quadratic equation before was to bring all the terms to one side. Step two is to factor, and we can go ahead and do that. So let's get the coefficients from our equation. And I'm going to do most of the scratch work on the right side over here. So first I'm going to multiply a times c. So that's 1 times 21 gives me 21. Next I need the factors of 21. And I have 1 times 21, 3 times 7. And now I'm going to look for the two numbers that add up to give me a negative 10, the middle term. Uh, 1 plus 21 is 22. That doesn't work out. 3 plus 7 is positive 10. So it's not quite right. Usually that occurs if you don't have uh, any pair that adds up to the middle term. You probably left some out. And that includes a negative. So don't forget that it's negative 1 multiplied by negative 21 is also a pair of factors. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 7. Oh, look, there's the one that we're looking for. Because negative 3 plus negative 7 gives us that negative 10.
All right, so those two numbers are the magic numbers we want. And again, just to reinforce, negative 3 plus negative 7 is negative 10, and that negative 10 is the B coefficient. All right, now we move on and we make our two fractions. So recall that the fractions were A divided by the magic number So we will have two fractions over here. The first one is 1 divided by negative 3. And there's nothing really to simplify. And the other one will be 1 divided by negative 7. So those are the ones we will refer to. Now we can go ahead and just factor what we had. So here are parentheses. It's still an equation, so it's set equal to zero. And we write our factors as 1x minus 3 and 1x minus 7. The numerator gives you the coefficient of the x, and the denominator will give you the constant. Now that we're finished factoring, we can apply the zero product property. So we set each factor equal to zero. Uh, one X minus three is just X minus three equals zero. And then X minus seven also gets set equal to zero. Let's go ahead and solve. Add three to each side here. We get our first solution is three. Add seven to this side. We get our second solution is seven. Our answers are x equals 3 and x equals 7. There they are. We can also check really quickly if these answers are correct by substituting back into the original equation. So we have to check each one individually. We're going to check x equals 3. And once you get good at this, you don't need to write it out anymore. You can do it in your head. All right, let's see here. We have 9 minus 30 plus 21 equals 0. So that's negative 21 plus 21 equals 0. That is correct. And then we should also check 7. So we have 7 squared minus 10 times 7 plus 21 equals 0. Just going to separate things a little bit here. That's 49 minus 70 plus 21 equals 0. And don't just assume that this is negative 21. Actually, do the math. Uh, 49 minus 70 is indeed negative 21 plus 21 equals 0. Put a check mark there. So these are the correct answers and we can be sure of that.